Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, and I'm here to bring you a monthly love forecast. How do they feel about you? What is their What is their current feelings? So this is going to be for May 2020. Don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And remember, it's for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So we're going to use three different decks today, and all of the decks can be found in the description box below. All right, so. Tell me what's going on with my Capricorns. What's going on with my Capricorns? What's going on with my Capricorns love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does my Capricorns love interest feel about my Capricorns? May? How does my Capricorns love interest feel about my Capricorns May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. No, we're not going to use this one. We're going to use this one. How does my Capricorn's love interest feel about my Capricorn's May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, one more here. How does my Capricorn's love interest feel about my Capricorn's May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We're going to pull five different cards from each deck. Okay, so uh, tune your heart light. T turn on your heart light. Um, reflect on a time when you experience love. So for me, this card, you can take a look at this card. To me, this card tells me that this person is feeling like really turned on by you. They feel like there is love here. They do want to tune into your energies. They do want to speak some truths here about that. Um, yeah, and they do want to talk to you about it because I see the bird in this card. I feel like there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a longing here too within this card for me. This person is definitely longing for you. Let's keep going here. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than beats the eyes. So they do feel like between you and them, there's a lot more going on than they realize. Um, and it's like almost like they are thinking about you or dreaming about you. Because I can look at this card, this person looks like they're dreaming or thinking about you here. Um, and they are just imagining how beautiful it is or how beautiful you are here. Um, yeah, so they're definitely, they feel like they're like almost watching you from above or seeing you from a new way in a new perspective. And it's like really, um, you know, they're, they're really uh, opening themselves up to uh, love for you, having love for you. Okay, let's keep going here. Spiritual connection, as I figured as much. Spiritual connection. Yes, a relationship has a connection that goes far beyond this lifetime. This person does feel like you are a soulmate connection, that this goes far beyond the connection that you guys have on this realm. And they, they feel like there is this strong connection spiritually between you and them. And this is also why the, the reason why they feel like there's more to this than the heart of the matter. They feel like there's more to this than just, just a love situation, that there's a stronger and bigger connection between you and them. Okay, let's keep going here. I want to make sure I only grab one card at a time. Actions speak louder than words. Express your love through actions. So they feel like they want to show you their love. They want to show this through actions. They don't just want to speak this, but they want this to be done through actions or physical, being physically around you. Um, love is all around you. Love is everything all the time. Simply acknowledge this truth. Yeah, so they do feel like the love is here. It's all around you guys. They do feel like, wow, this is this is like an amazing connection. For some of you, there may even be a, a feeling that there is a twin flame soulmate connection between this person. It's such a strong connection here. You can see that this person, when they're around you, they feel like they just get caught up in the moment and they just like time goes so fast and it's like like so so for them it's like a magical like um you know uh, an experience of like wow this is this is definitely a person that i've known for different lifetimes or there's a, there's a deeper spiritual connection between you me and this person king of wands they feel like there's passion here king of wands they feel like you're a wise choice when it comes to passion aries sagittarius leo energy they feel like you're really uh, a natural born leader that you have courage that you have strength here that there's passion between you you know um 
they do feel like you guys are really good friends and you connect well you hang out and you have a good time and you know um, there's a lot of joy between you and this person they feel like they're completely happy here with the ten of cups energy like there's complete happiness here they just want to hang out they just want to enjoy the moment completely and this person definitely possibly even wants to take this even further here they want some completion around this situation with you and them queen of cups there's a patient energy here because they're like all right um should i give my cup of love should i not give my cup of love or they feel like there's a very nurturing energy here they feel like you're a very nurturing person here with the queen of cups energy or they feel like you're having a hesitation about giving your cup of love here with the queen of cups energy queen of wands they do feel like there is passion uh there is a lot of passion between you there's a lot of sexiness between you and them there's a very sexy passionate energy here okay let's keep going they feel like there is definitely a spiritual connection we have the cross card energy they feel like they would like some house and family or stability here or close to home with you um, they feel like there is like a it's like a, for them it's like it's like coming home they feel like there is so much joy and they like being around you and they feel like even you guys are like friends and you hang out and there's passion and you guys have like adventures and you you there's like there's this deep spiritual connection between you two and they're trying to gain some kind of knowledge about this situation uh, pertaining to the spiritual connection because of the book card or they feel like you know them that you know them very well here with the book card energy and that's another reason why they feel like there's this spiritual connection they feel like there's this strong connection between you and them let's see here yeah there's the heart card energy they feel that there's love there's compassion here with this heart card energy and uh this is definitely recognized here with the moon card or there's some kind of romance here with the moon card energy yeah so they do feel like there is a lot of intuition a lot of dreamy energy here a lot of um, and this person feels like you're just interconnected you know you're interconnected uh you know soul wise on a soul level and they feel like you make them completely happy they feel like you guys are friends and you hang out and that there's some patient energy around this connection with the queen of wands should i give my cup of love should i not give my cup of love is this a wise choice when it comes to passions should i be patient when it comes to my passions because i'm really attracted to this person and i feel like there's a spiritual connection this person feels like home to me and i'm trying to gain some kind of knowledge about this love and romance here and i just want to speak this i want this to be uh you know spoken louder than words i want there to be action around this connection because i feel like i i need to get at the heart of the matter here because of this deep spiritual connection between me and this person and i'm trying to tune into my heart light energy i'm trying to tune into my heart and connect with their heart um on a spiritual realm it feels like to me it feels like they want to speak this truth here about the fact that they feel like they would you would be a wise choice when it comes to passions and that you're a leader here and that you have a lot of courage and strength and that there is a spiritual connection or they feel burdened and challenged because of this situation and they feel like they want to get to the heart of the matter because of something to do with friendship or hanging out or celebrating and because of something to do with house and family here they feel like there's this, this deep heavy spiritual connection here and they feel like this would make them completely happy with the ten of cups energy and they're trying to gain knowledge about this if, if you feel the same and they want to speak this because they want they feel like they they want some kind of movement here because they they don't want to just talk it they want it to be action oriented and they know that there's a patient energy here with the queen of cups should i give my cup of love should i not give my cup of love and they do want love here with this heart card energy they feel that love is all around them in this situation that there's attraction here with the queen of wands energy that there's a sexy energy between you and them and they want to share this this inner part of themselves you can see that even with the queen of wands energy it's this person it's like you know there's a lot of passion here and it's like this person's bringing that passion out within them you bring that passion out within them and they feel like there is romance here with the moon card energy or this is recognized i feel, I feel like they feel like you know this is recognized about the situation 
So if we come back to this, the King of Wands is here because they want to be wise in their decision making when it comes to passions. And also the Queen of Wands is there. So if we mirror that card, the reason why the King of Wands is there is the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of passion here between you and this person. They feel like you guys are friends and they enjoy hanging out with you, and but they know that there's some kind of patient energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They want complete happiness here. They just want to enjoy the moment with you. They feel like there's this deep spiritual connection and uh, they want to gain knowledge of there is going to be something to do with house and family or close to home and love and they know that there are some burdens and challenges and they recognize that with the moon card energy so if we look at the numerology three plus six is seven eight nine they want to fulfill their wishes they want stability and stableness two plus six is seven eight they want to put the worker effort into love and recovery and they know that they there's these some changes or some challenges around this because of this patient energy here because of the fact that they need some completion around the situation also for some of you there may be uh, another person involved with the three of cups energy being there and that's also possibly why there's a patient energy around this even though this person's like wow I feel like there's a strong spiritual connection and I feel like you know I just want to move on this and I, I have to be patient here around this energy all right, my Capricorns, I hope you guys like this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a person to read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Please let me know what you thought about this, guys. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do this again. Love you guys so much, and have a great rest of your month. Stay safe. I will be seeing you soon. I will be releasing the weeklies either uh, tomorrow or Monday. Love you guys so much.